I am still in uh, Porto, Portugal. Actually, now we're in the middle of the city center. I came here for a specific reason. Right over here is the world's most beautiful McDonald's. At least that's what I read online. And uh, we just have to go in and look at what does the world's most beautiful McDonald's have to offer. Let's find out. This really is an amazingly beautiful place. Maestro guacamole, I think I have to try this one. And then of course we need a Big Mac. We have to do an ice cream too. Lots of different ice creams here. McFlurry Twix, Snickers, M&M's, Oreo, Kit Kat, Twix. We're gonna do a McFlurry Snickers with extra of all of these. Number 10. I mean, just look at this place. It's absolutely gorgeous. That's pretty sick. Uh, number 10? Number 10, maybe it's this one, yeah? Okay, cool. Obrigado. They have a basement. Let's go down and uh, see what's going on down here. This is probably the first time in my life that I have a guacamole hamburger. There's no guacamole in the guacamole hamburger. Great, good job McDonald's. <laughs> they missed out on the key ingredient in this hamburger. Like, wow. I would never have thought in a million years that I was gonna go into a city center and not go to a vegan place. I was kind of hesitant. It was this close, we did the vegan burger place instead. But this place is so unique, I just had to come here. And so far, I'm quite impressed. Except the guacamole burger doesn't have any guacamole. This ice cream wasn't so good, actually. <clears throat> Plus, they put very little peanut sauce inside, despite me ordering extra of it. This place, architecturally, it's pretty impressive, but the food they have delivered so far is below McDonald's quality. The schedule for today is totally packed with things to do. I took a screenshot earlier of my phone. Each green dot that you see on the screen is a place I picked out uh, that I want to go and visit and uh, <clears throat> hopefully do all of that today and film it. So it's gonna, be, it's gonna be a lot of work for me today. They make a lot of things beautiful here in Porto. McDonald's was cool, but right here is a world famous metro station. Having said that, now I feel like a real tour guide here. What's so special about this metro station is what they have on the walls inside of it. Let's go and have a look. Just look at this. They have put super cool ties all over the place. All the walls here are just covered in ties. Okay, the rest of this place seems to be a standard metro station. So, let's vamos to the next destination. <laughs> Doing some cobbled street bike riding downhill. And when I say downhill, this really is downhill. As downhill as it gets. It's crazy. Woo! Let some honking car traffic pass here. Ah, look at that. A wildcat, probably. I don't know. <laughs> I think this is pretty unique to Porto, but all of these streets, either they go up 
or they go down like massively. Oh, look at this place. Well, abandoned, an abandoned building in the middle of Puerto. This is one of the places I want to go to. World of Discoveries, it's a science museum. Let's see what's inside of this building. Hola. Hola. ¿Cómo se va? Uh, sorry. <laughs> 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 a small boat ride. Like a small what? Boat ride. Boat ride? Yes. Like but out, out in the canal, you're like on real water or? Yes. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not mentally stable for doing boat rides. That's up to you. Thank you. Obrigado. There you go. Okay, super. What do we have in here? We have boats. Not too impressed with this. Oh, real spices, that's cool. I'm just gonna walk through this shit as usual. This is so lame, I have no words to describe it. It's so lame, totally lame. Uh, this is the boat, right? It's inside the building, only inside. inside, inside, inside. How long does it take to do this boat ride? Uh, 20 minutes. 10 minutes? 20 minutes. 20 minutes? 20. And I suppose this is the main attraction of this science museum. Yes. If I get a panic attack or something, can I just jump off the boat no. and walk back here? Well, what if I have a heart attack? Do I, what happens then? Uh, maybe the security maybe stop the boat and go to you. That doesn't make any sense. I need to know that if I need to exit one of these vehicles, then I, I, I need to be able to do so spontaneously when that need arises. Do you see what I'm saying? No? Basically, so you're saying if I have a heart attack here, I am definitely going to die. Oh, hell no. No way. <laughs> I completed this museum in probably less than five minutes. The boat ride really was the main attraction and I didn't do it. I paid 15 euros for nothing. This was the most lamest thing I have ever done in my whole life. A complete waste of money. This is absolutely sick. They have installed automatic stairways here and for whatever reason I also see a whole bunch of cameras up here. <laughs> what a weird place. There's the ending of one of these but then you have to cross under this arc in order to get to the other set of stairways over there. <laughs> I can't believe this. I'm right up against the wall because we're walking in, the, in this little small street and here comes an ambulance. Wow, very hard to believe, but not surprising. Yeah, he takes his time though. Maybe he's not in a hurry after all. Wow. There you go. First time I saw that. That is a bookstore. Apparently a very, very old bookstore that looks something like out of a Harry Potter movie inside, that is. I really wanted to go in there, but you can see there's a massive line of people here all queued up to go into the bookstore. It's not a museum. It's a privately owned bookstore. It's weird. This queue goes on the entire street down there. I don't know if I want to stay here and wait that long. Fuck. Yeah, I'm going to have to pass on this one, guys. I am so sorry, <laughs> but you wouldn't be standing here waiting all day either, right? Uh, it's not like I'm planning to buy a book anyways, you know. Fuck it. Too bad. But across from the bookstore is another cool place. Just look at this street. It has trees on the top and everything. So far, Porto has really impressed me quite a lot. I mean, wow. So many cool quarters that I've been walking through, so many cool buildings that I have seen. This is incredible. And by the end of this street, 
There's a church with a big tower. I can't believe this just happened. A bird fucking shit on me while I was flying the drone. Fucking disgusting. Oh. Someone left this phone here. I'm gonna be a good citizen. I'm gonna take this phone with me and uh, leave it with the first uh, police officer that I can find because surely they can go into the phone and figure out who this belongs to. Black cherries, um, rum raisin, and salty caramel of some type. The phone that I took with me called. I answered. The owner's husband was calling. So we arranged a meeting. He came to the ice cream shop here and picked up the phone. They were very happy to see the phone again. Mm. Much, much better than the McDonald's ice cream. Yeah, let's go this way. Auto navigate amongst all the people here. Should probably not be on my bike right now. Oh wow, look at this place. Wow. <laughs> Wow, just look at this place. We are going to go up here, all the way up here. And then we're going to cross this bridge on the bike all over to the other side of the canal. And that is one big bridge. This bike is actually so light, it is easy to carry it. I'm not so sure this path leads straight to the bridge. I can imagine that these buildings were here first and then they built the bridge. <laughs> so they needed, to, they needed to cut off a piece of the building. And then all the tenants, they moved out. It's uh, heavily locked up so I can't get in. That would have been cool to get inside this building.
I made it back home to safe ground. This parking is uh, very representative for how I usually park when I want to go into a city center. It only takes 15 minutes to go into the city center with a bike from here. Um, so that's cool. Wherever I park, I always make parkings that I feel I can stay there for a very long time. In fact, here, I've been here for a little bit over a week, I think. When I need to find parking like this, what I do is I go, go on Google Maps and I just scout out uh, which is the most fancy, coolest neighborhood in the area. This spot right here is so secluded. I haven't had any visitors here at all. No cars, no dogs, no nothing. I have parked my car in such a way that my outdoor area is fully shaded, but I still have sun hitting the solar panels. I actually like my view. I have some tree branches falling down by the end of the awning. It's really cozy. I love this parking. The city center was super cool. There were so much people there and I barely heard any Portuguese. 80-90% of our people, they spoke English, i.e. they were foreigners, they were not from the area. And I couldn't stop thinking about all the money th these people are putting down on, on hostels, hotels, and just to be able to sleep in Porto. And how lucky I am. I can stay here for however long I want to, paying no rent, no nothing. I go out with the garbage around the corner. I go to the closest park, drop my bottles of urine. Yes, that happens when you live van life. I did run out of water. All I needed to do was type in on Google Maps, where is the closest cemetery? It was five minutes away with the car. So I went five minutes away with the car, filled up 100 liters of water, boom, straight back to this spot, parked and I'm all good. Living the van life is awesome, but it's still a life. And we have life struggles like anyone else do. But knowing that I can go anywhere and find home and live rent-free. That certainly helps. <laughs> My next video is going to be dope. It's going to be unlike anything I have done before. We are going to go to a completely different part of Portugal. Allegedly, where we are going next is going to be over 40 degrees Celsius every single day. So I don't know how well I'm going to be able to handle that. So stay tuned, don't miss out. I'll catch you in the next one. Good night.